This is now the sitting room. It was a very uh, useful dining room. A door into the kitchen here when we came and we turned it into a sitting room. This is the Victorian part, Victorian part of the house. Adam's fireplace here. Lacquered walls, which we did about 40 years ago with a seagull feather. And right over the, right over the ceiling, which was quite a hard job. We scumbled the, the corners. Scumble's the sort of paint that you uh, put on and you just scumble it, basically, <laughs> and just rub it in. But the other stuff is uh, marbleizing with a seagull feather. The paintings here, uh, they're mainly my brother's paintings, uh, James Thompson, studied in College of Art, Royal College of Art, the Beaux-Arts in uh, Paris, can you believe? It's slightly unbelievable. But he did, and uh, he did this one about, I would say, 20 or 25 years ago. And uh, this one here is an earlier uh, work. You can see the, a change of style, perhaps. And um, not quite as um, twee as it looks. Uh, if you go in, you'll see a little bit of the porn. Can you see the porn? <laughs> <laughs> now, this is another earlier work of his as well. This is him trying to teach the kids how to uh, paint. Uh, I would say that would be about 40, 40 years ago. This is a portrait I did of my daughter Sarah when she was about 16, 17 or 18, something like that, uh, from the upstairs window before the trees grew up. It was actually hung in the National Portrait Gallery because I got it into the Painter of the Year uh, when it first started. This is a photograph of my uh, my daughter, uh, Minnie, uh, you'll see quite a few paintings of her. Uh, she's uh, she's the, one of the principals in the Irish Symphony Orchestra here. And this is a, a cellist, he's, very, he's done very well as well. This is when they were in the National Youth Orchestra here. She led the National Youth Orchestra, it was quite good. This is my granddaughter, Laurie, she's studying in Paris. The piano used to work quite well and uh, until my nephew, James Clapperton, concert pianist, uh, plays Shostakovich on it. <laughs> which is very like that, and uh, it knocked it for six. And uh, it's not been tuned since. It's a long, a long story, but I've been all over. I've lived in Sweden, Holland, Manchester, Nottingham, and then uh, my husband uh, got a job in Fife, and that's what brought me to Fife. And uh, eventually we got a house down in Kinghorn, and I actually got into gardening very late on, and uh, this house had a bigger garden, and, and uh, that's why we came, up, we came up here about 50 odd years ago. Now let's go upstairs and I'll show you what's up here. <laughs> These are drawings of the kids when they were young. Um, Peter, John, Minnie, Minnie, Sarah. This is the skylight which was perfectly okay until last year when a piece of the plaster got wet and fell through and landed on Peter who was on his computer underneath it and uh, unfortunately never killed him. That's a kind of sad story. Come and see the bathroom. I think this was the maid's bathroom. Uh, it was very plain when we came. And about 40 years ago, I decided to camp it up uh, in the chinoiserie style. This bit here took me the whole Saturday afternoon to paint because I only had a sable paintbrush. But then, I discovered that if you got the right kind of paintbrush, which is called a sign writer's paintbrush, you could do the whole thing very quickly because with one stroke, you could come from here, right down here with one stroke. And then by turning the paintbrush on its side, you could do tiny little strokes. The bath is very much past its best, as you can see, but I can't change it because I've painted it all around here and I'm far too old to repaint it. If I got a new bath, I'd have to repaint it. So this is my excuse. 
and it, but it's got character now and it fits in, fits in, the black and white fits in. Not, not the scummy bit, but up here, this is supposed to be a, a cherry blossom tree and um, these are lords and ladies, uh, the flowers here, lords and ladies, got them in the garden. And then these are supposed to be Chinese things. Actually, I think most of them are actually Japanese. This lady here, she's Japanese, you can see that. And then if you come slowly across here to this one here, she, she was a frontispiece in a book, uh, so I've just copied that off the frontispiece. The only thing I was good at at school was uh, art. I was always very good at drawing and uh, we had no toys. We were brought up in the, in the, in, during the war and we had no toys. That, that, all we had was a pencil and uh, I, I, we were very lucky we got a crayon. So that was it. And I, I can't count, I'm quite good at English, but the thing that I was best at was art. And so we, uh, uh, then, of course, um, I went to the art college. Then I taught my, my brother how to paint, and he got better than me. Then, I, then Peter as well, and Sissy. And they're all, they're, they're all quite artistic, really. Now, this one, this is just a joke. This is a uh, uh, Jackson Pollock. I wish it was real, but it was just, a, just fun. Uh, there's nothing wrong with fun. Actually, they're very difficult to do. The, the, the secret of Jackson Pollock is knowing when to stop because um, if you keep on going, you'll end up just with mud. And the, 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 it, it's actually quite tricky. And it, I've, it's not, I've never done it, and I, I doubt if I could. The chandelier, uh, we just got that fairly recently at a sale room where somebody put it into the sale room in pieces and it, without the jangly bits. And uh, I think we got it for about 70 or 80 pounds or something like that. And then six months later, the, the sale room found the boxes with the, with the shiny bits in it. And uh, we looked it up on the internet. It's water for crystal, I think, 14,000 pounds. <laughs> so I don't know what the folk that sold it were thinking. This is a Chinese embroidery here. You can see that we like things all Chinese and all Art Deco. And uh, I'll show you this other thing along here. This is the only interesting piece of furniture we've got. It's from the Festival of Britain, and it's called the Double Helix here. And it's by a, a very famous um, lady architect, I can't remember her name. And it's in the Museum of Modern Art in America. And it was 20 pounds at restart. And it's been perfect condition. If you come along here, we're going to the dining room nice here. Oh, before we get here, th this is Sarah's picture uh, with a leger book. Watercolour. Quite a feat for a watercolour. I like this one. Come into the dining room. You think there's a lot of stuff in here, but my grandchildren counted the lamps. There's only 210 and then they're going to count the glasses tomorrow. And the other thing they're going to count is the mirrors. I think there was well over 100 mirrors as well. You know, when, you, when you're 82, you begin to collect things. It mounts up. The only interesting thing in here, actually, is the, the walls. Do you see this here? This is actually cloth. It's fabric. And uh, it's just pinned on, because if you feel it, there's, you know what's that stuff called? Horrible wallpaper with um, raised, raised wallpaper, jaggy wallpaper. It was on the ceiling as well, and I think it took us months to take it off the ceiling. And that's why we ended up with a cloth option on the wall. The ceiling's rather nice. Again, I've lacquered the ceiling with, with a seagull's feather. When you're, when you're lacquering a ceiling, you put on an undercoat, and then there's a special stuff, it's called a lacquer and you put it on the top and then you dip your seagull feather in turpentine and then you draw, draw the seagull feather through and it, it uh, creates the effect of marble. Painters used to learn how to do it to do on doors, remember? And all in furniture. They used to do it on furniture. But uh, that was a long time ago I did that. I have to explain why I have so many dishes. It's because sometimes we have busloads of 60 people and they need a cup of tea. <laughs> Uh, the plates are just rubbish from Restart. 
But this is uh, quite interesting. We were talking about this last night. That this is the, for a wedding cake. You often used to see them in baker shops in their window. Uh, but this one, I don't see, it had a, a, a very bad beating. I don't know why it's so beat up. The kids, the kids did the floral arrangement, but that was two weeks ago. It's looking a bit, a bit sad. This is the only room we, we actually use. Uh, this is the television room. And um, yes, it's small, it's warm, and it's functional. This is Minnie and Sissy, dressed up in a Georgian dress, in the greenhouse before it fell down. I'm quite pleased my house plants are coming on. Got them at the charity shop. A, visit, a nice visitor gave me this one here. It's from South Africa. Quite quite common, but I've forgotten the name. This one here. It's a shame it's uh, dull today, but it's been pouring my rain every day. But you can come back another time and get the garden. If and when the sun comes out. <laughs> this is our list A. Mackenzie and Mancar greenhouse, as you can see, falling down. And I'm looking for a grant, and uh, we're researching grants, and we've not been very successful so far. But uh, you can come back and film it on a nicer day. <laughs>